Hi, this is Tia from Genres and Journals. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry in advance, I have been sick, so I apologize if my voice seems pretty deep or stuffed up, but yeah, I've been sick for a week or so. Anyway, today I am setting up an extra spread in my yearly spreads for 2024. I decided to go ahead and do a 24 and 24 spread, although with a few extra. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I did already go ahead and put a 24 and 24 in my stories over there. Um, but I wanted to add six more here because there's just so many books that I want to read in 2024. And I was a little bit worried that if I didn't write them down somewhere or record them somewhere that I would end up forgetting which ones I was really excited to read right now at the beginning of the year. So I decided to just go ahead and put them into my journal. And instead of calling it 24 and 24, since it's actually 30, I called it um, 2024 Priority TBR. Yeah, so as you can see, I decided to go with a tan brownish scheme here, um, kind of neutrals, and I'm using different scrapbook paper and ephemera, as well as some washi tape and a few stickers as well. I also have an Elmer's tape runner um, that I'm using to tape down the scrapbook paper on the edges as you can see and I went ahead and had outlined where all the books are going to be before I got started so that I wouldn't have to do that on camera because it sometimes does take quite a bit of time to figure out the spacing that you want to use on your pages. As you can see I also printed out all the book covers before I got started. I have a Canon Ivy 2 and that is like a really small printer. It doesn't use ink. It's a thermal printer. I'm not exactly sure how that works but it prints out color with no ink and it only prints on sticker paper and you hook it up to your phone or I guess you could use an iPad too. I'm not really sure but so there's an app on your phone for it and you just load the pictures that you want on there and you can print them out in various sizes. Uh, they have lots of different choices on there. So you basically make like a collage and then voila, it's, it's very, very nice. Um, so these I printed four to a page and yeah, it works out really well. Sometimes you have to resize them to make sure that they are, um, that all the words and stuff are fitting into the, the little rectangle for it, but it's very easy to use. And I will leave the one that I have linked down below if you're interested in checking it out. Okay. Um, let's see, what else can I say about this? I will try to leave all of the, um, supplies that I use linked down below as well. All of the washi and well actually I think some of the washi is from Amazon and some of it is from uh, Michael's. The kind that I got from Michael's is not very adhesive at all. Uh, you'll see later that I end up having to like glue some of it down because it keeps peeling back up which is highly annoying. Um, not, not all the ones that you buy from Michaels, but, uh, the ones for me that peel back up are the ones that I bought in like a big set. So maybe, I don't know, maybe those just weren't made as well. Anyway, and then all of the ephemera and scrapbook paper that I'm using here, I got on Amazon and the little stickers that I'm using, I think I have a bunny and an owl those were also from Michael's in a little sticker pack. Um, and then I, I've saved some of my older journals that 
I've used in the past that have like extra pages in them and that's what I'm using here to write my title on. So I just use the extra pages out of the back of that. I'll cut some out whenever I need it and use it here to be able to test pins or to use for titles or any other type of extra things that I need. It has come uh, quite in handy during uh, the time that I've been making this journal. So here I'm just writing 2024 Priority TBR on there for my title. Um, I have gotten in the habit of always doing my titles like this. Um, I don't know why I like to do it so much, but I think all of my titles in this journal are done like this. So I just put a small, very thin piece of washi tape down the middle and write the title on top of it. Um, then I shook it a little bit there to try to dry the ink before I peeled the washi tape back up. And then you're left with um, a big empty space in the middle. Sometimes I'll go back in and fill that empty space in with like a lighter marker color and then write an ink in cursive on top of that. But most of the time I just put my cursive writing right inside the empty white spot. So yeah, that's what I did right here. I'm being incredibly meticulous um, about my cursive writing. I think I erased it like three times. I, I don't know if it's because I've been sick or because I haven't done any pages in a while, but I felt like my handwriting was off today. I just, I don't know. I don't know what the deal with it was. I do feel like I have sort of like a sickness fog, illness fog. So maybe that's what it was. It seemed like for some reason it was harder to get my handwriting the way that I wanted it. <clears throat> anyway, and then here I am using a Tombow uh, glue, like gel glue pen because my, uh, my tape runner ran out. So I switched over to using the Tombow glue, which actually works really, really well. And it kind of gets really slippery. So if it's not exactly in the space you want it, you can kind of slip it back and forth until you get it exactly where you want it. Whereas with the tape runner, as soon as you tape that down, it's really hard to peel back up. Okay, and now I'm starting to put in my book covers, as you can see here. Um, I did want to put some washi on the edges, so I'm doing that as I go along, just starting on the edges and just filling them in. And this first one that I put in here is uh, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. I'm sure you've heard about that book a ton. It has been everywhere this past year. And I definitely want to know what it's all about. And the second one here is Billy Summers by Stephen King. And the third one that I'm about to stick down is Smoke's Show. And this is a novel by uh, B. Perkins and Amy Vance. And then I'm going to move over to the other side. Uh, because I want to get the washy edges down before I start to fill in the middle. And let's see, the one I put there is A Dreadful Splendor. And this is by B.R. Myers. This is a historical mystery. Oh, I'm really still stuffed up. I'm sorry. Um, so on the side, I am putting a couple of leaf stickers. Those are also from Michael's. And then I put in uh, The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. And Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. I really meant to read this one last year, but I didn't get around to it. And then next I have Yumi and the Nightmare Painter, also by Brandon Sanderson. I love that cover. It's really pretty. And then I have Levi Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey, which I've been meaning to read for years. And my husband has now started reading. So I'm going to try to catch up with him. He's on the second book. And then um, The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman, another one I've heard a ton about and have been meaning to read for a couple of years. 
A Study in Drowning. This one is by Ava Reed, one that I heard a lot about in 2023 and want to get on the bandwagon, apparently. <laughs> um, then I have Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. It's the next one I put down. As you can see, my kids came in to help me with the stickers. I called them in and said, this is taking too long. Can you please help me? Uh, the Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. And then I have the Invisible Library. Um, I don't have that one to show you. Um, moving on to the Marlowe Murder Club by Robert Thurgood. And then Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Jillian Mc McAllister. Then Bride by Allie Hazelwood, which I have on pre-order and don't have yet on my shelf. And then Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I'm sure you've heard of this one too. It's been everywhere. Uh, the Housemaid by Frida McFadden. Yes, I know. I accidentally have two copies of this book, which means I really have to read it this year. Everyone in my family has killed someone by Benjamin Stevenson. Then Divine Rivals. This is by Rebecca Ross. I also have the sequel, so if I like the first one, I can move on to the second one as well. Um, then I have The Wake Up Call by Beth O'Leary. She's one of my favorite authors, and I would like to read this book that just came out last year. The Fury by Alex Michelides. I have read his other books and love them, so I want to read that one as well. A House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Moss. The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by, um, oh, I couldn't see the author's name. Shark Heart by Emily Habeck. Then we have Good Girls Don't Die by Christina Henry. The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. And... The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. And Starter Villain by John Scalzi. Um, so a couple of these I didn't have books to be able to show on my shelf. And the Writing Retreat I have actually already read. But because it was on my... Um, 24 and 24 on Instagram. I went ahead and put it on here so that they would match up. Um, but I've already read that one and I decided to unhaul it. So that's why I don't have that one to show. And then I do have these little uh, star stickers that I got from, I believe it's called Olive Studio on Etsy. I will try to remember to link those down below as well. But I'm just putting a uh, little five star stickers underneath every book cover so that when I read them, I can go back in and easily fill in um, how many stars I give each one. I'm apparently trying to be very meticulous and get them as straight as I can. Um, so here in a second, I'm going to skip ahead. There we go. Jump ahead a little bit and then jump ahead a little bit more here in a second so that you don't have to see me lay down every single one of those. Then I decided to stick one more sticker. That little spot up there was looking empty to me. And then there you go, gluing down some more of that washi tape that keeps popping back up and filling in the stars for the writing retreat, which I've already read. As you can see, I only gave it two stars. I'm not sure that it might have only deserved one, so I don't know. <laughs> two stars was probably generous for me. I really didn't enjoy that book. And I'm just trimming up a few edges, and that is it. Thanks for stopping in and watching the video again with me, guys. See you next time.